Warriors NRL Fanatics here, back today with a video, and I'm going to chat about the talented players that never got going for us. What I mean by that is players that have had massive potential, but due to either injuries or not getting enough game time in first grade, and they were let go to other clubs. So the first player I'm going to go through is Ben Henry. Now he wasn't let go by the club, but his... Um, his early career was quite good actually. He made his debut in the NRL in round one against the Manly Seagulls in 2012 at Eden Park in Auckland and that day he played centre. In round six he scored his first NRL try against the Canberra Raiders in a 32-12 loss. Then on the 17th of June the club extended his contract for three years till the end of the 2015 season he was also named the New Zealand Rugby League Rookies Player of the Year. Then in 2013, it really started to go a bit downhill. And this is where he started to get a few injuries. And the first injury he got was an ACL injury. And that, is, that cut his 2013 season short. Then in 2015, he played for the Warriors in the NRL Auckland Nines, tomorrow, Nines tournament. He played his 50th NRL match in round 3, then he suffered another ACL injury. In 2016, on August the 2nd, Ben Henry then announced he was retiring from the game due to the consistent knee injuries that he was getting overall. So, so that's Ben Henry's career as a whole. Unfortunately, he just couldn't keep himself fit and on the field longer. And this is his career for the Warriors from 2012 to 16, 52 games, 17 tries, 3 goals and 75 points. So unfortunately it was not to be for Ben Henry due to these injury complications he was getting. The next player I'd like to talk about is Nathaniel Roach. And in 2014 was the year that Nathaniel made his Holden Cup under 20s debut for the Warriors. And in that year, he started off at 5'8". From the 5th of uh, October the 2014, he started at centre in the Holden Cup Grand Final. And early in that game, he was shifted to hooker. In 2015, he converted to play at hooker and signed a two-year extension at the club. In 2016 NRL season, Roach made his first grade debut for the Warriors against the West Tigers coming off the interchange bench at Campbelltown Stadium. And then only in 2019, well, he only played six games, so there wasn't really much to talk about there. So, yeah, Nathaniel Roach had a really rotten bit of luck on the injury front, and unfortunately, uh, last year was announced that he wasn't going to re-sign with us. So, yeah, just he couldn't stay on the field long enough, and... He just had lots of potential. He he was a massive talent and I really rated him as a player. I watched him through the under-20 system and the Canterbury New South Wales Cup. And he's a very humble guy too. I've chatted to him quite a few times on uh, Instagram. I haven't really met him in person yet, but I would have, would have liked to. But unfortunately, yeah, Nathaniel Roach's career just didn't really work out at the Warriors. And hopefully his future is much better and there will be no more injuries for him. So yeah, that's Nathaniel Roach. The next player I'd like to talk about is uh, Sam Lasoni and his career started where he signed with us in 2012 and played for us in the NYC team in 2013 and 14. And he played in the 2013 Holden Cup which we lost to the Penrith Panthers. And then in 2014 he played a bit of New South Wales Cup and was also part of the Holden Cup Under-20s team grand final win, the 32-14 win against the Brisbane Broncos, where he scored a try in that game. He was named prop in, in Holden Cup's Under-20s team of the year and won the Warriors NYC Players Player of the Year award. Lasoni also made his uh, first grade debut on the 7th of March in 2015 against the Newcastle Knights. And um, right now, Sam Lasoni is currently playing for the Gold Coast Titans. So this is his career for the Warriors. In uh, 15 to 19, he played 85 games, three tries and 12 points. 
So he didn't. He had a, quite a few games for us, but from there on, um, the Sony just wasn't consistent enough, and um, the Warriors decided to let him go, and now he's at the Titans. So yeah. The next player I'd like to talk about is Kevin Locke. Now, on, Kevin Locke. On uh, May 2009, he made his first grade debut in round 12 against the West Tigers, and he scored two tries and kicked one goal, where we won 14 points to nil. And that year, we failed to make the finals, but Locke finished the season as the club's top point scorer. He finished the Toyota Cup under-20s career at the end of the 2009 season, having made 33 appearances, scoring 18 tries and 99 goals. So Kevin Locke had a very good under-20s career overall. Locke was also part of the 2011 Grand Final team that lost to the Manly Seagulls in, in the NRL in Sydney, and he remained at the club for 2012, but from there on there was um, constant rumours of Sam Tompkins signing for the club, and unfortunately those rumours came true for Kevin Locke, and he decided to leave the NRL due to the signing of Sam Tompkins and he went to play for the Stalford Red Devils in the UK Super League. And then from there onwards uh, I think he had a few little off-field um, problems and and uh, Stalford they as a club I think they had some issues as well so he then went on to sign for the um, Wakeford I think he went for the sign on for Wakeford from there and then after that, he decided that he had enough of the Super League and he decided to come back and try to get back into the NRL and he played in the uh, Intrust Super Cup for the Sunshine Coast Falcons, which is the Queensland Cup team. So that's Kevin Locke's career and yeah, he was a massive talent. I remember that try he scored against the Roosters in Christchurch where he got injured in the process while scoring underneath the goalposts and yeah, unfortunately his career from um, from there on, it went downhill. So from from the time he was at the Warriors, and after he left, his career just didn't go quite well. So yeah, that's Kevin Locke. The last player I'd like to talk about is Carlos Tuam Now, from 2010 to 2012, he played for the Warriors NYC team, playing in both the Warriors 2010 and 2011 Grand Final, or as part of the. Uh, 2011 and 2010 grand final victories and he was named man of the match in that 2010 Toyota Cup grand final and he won the Warriors NYC young NYC player of the year in 2012 was when Carlos made his NRL debut in round 22 and that was against the Cronulla Sharks where he had to fill in for the injured James Maloney after he um, came off the field in 2012, he was named the NYC 5 of the Year and was in the Team of the Year as well. In 2016 was when he went on to sign for Hull FC in the UK Super League and he won the Challenge UK um, Challenge Cup from the 2016 to 27 season. And then in 2019, which was last year, he was named Hull FC's Player of the Year. So yeah, that's um, so that's a look, video on potential players that couldn't couldn't didn't really um, do much couldn't really do much for the uh, club. They they really try to make a name for themselves for the Warriors and in the NRL, but unfortunately it just wasn't to be. So yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and um, share your thoughts on what. It, on these potential players that just couldn't get going so yeah i'll see you again in the next video